Hey everyone, welcome back. It's time for that little bit of honesty. You know, let's start with scenario one. We're going to do several scenarios here about being too tired. And I'm going to be honest, I've been a little too tired myself recently. And I've seen you guys comment before about what you do when you're too tired in Apex Legends. We're going to give an answer for that. But I'm going to give a few scenarios to kind of set the stage. Scenario one, you're loading up the game. It's been a long day after work and school. I'm going to be honest. In case you guys don't know, I work another job as well. And you think, uh... I don't, I don't know if I have the energy to do this right now. I don't know. And it's, it's not because you don't want to play the game. It's like, maybe you just want to sit there and kind of stare off into space. You're like, I don't know if I, if I just, if I can do this. And it's like, I, I mean, I, I'm touching my own face and like, you're just kind of like, oh, and it's just it, because the game is, takes a lot of energy. Scenario two, you click the button, you log in and you say, it's the end of the week. It's Friday. And you've already given 100% a lot of other stuff. And you say, do I got to give 100% again? This week was kind of crazy, but if I log in, I don't play well. Am I going to get yelled at? Am I going to have people disappointed in me? Am I going to disappoint myself because I'm better at this game than I should be, but I'm just not ready to give it 100%? That's hard. Let's say scenario three, you play well and you are logging back in because you stepped away even for just a minute, because you're trying to refresh, because like, I am tired, you know, I, 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 but mentally, maybe I didn't sleep well the night before, and maybe I ate some food that just isn't resonate with me, maybe I didn't go to the gym or work out, and you say, I played well, and I dropped, or I dropped the ball last round, but I'm unsure if I can muster the energy to do that again. You have that performance anxiety, and then even when you're on the main screen, you know, you're kind of loading up and sitting there and say, do I want to queue up for another one? Like, I dropped some decent kills, but can I do that again? Am I just going to magically suck again? Can I muster up that energy and focus? The focus, that's a lot. It's a lot to kind of take in. And you, you hover over the cursor, you're here in the menu, you look around, you say, oh man, look at the screen here. You know, trios, you know, rank, control, like all these modes I'm going to sweat in. Let's talk about this. Let's talk about it. I, I think out of the scenarios, I think we, we got a lot to talk about. So let's kind of talk about it. So now we kind of set the stage. And hopefully one of those scenarios kind of resonated with you while we're in queue. We're going to ask a question. And I know I kind of put this video off. Because I, I have somebody, as you know, who has a lot of passion for the game. And even if I'm tired, I still play. And you guys watch the streams and I still am very excited to always be here. And I'm excited to even make this video. But I won't, I can't lie to you and tell you that I'm not tired. And maybe you've heard me say that a little bit more recently. But we're going to talk about how we combat this a little bit. I understand we all have other obligations. Even if you don't, you try to keep playing this game over and over again. The mental, you know, capacity that it requires... Maybe mental capacity is the wrong word. The mental focus and it, that it requires the investment in the game is a lot. When you want to play well, you you got to really invest and put your whole heart into the game. You got to focus on third parties. How are you going to rotate? How are you communicating with your teammates? Communication. All this stuff is really, really important. So how do you combat this? Well, if you had any of those scenarios occur before, the best thing to do is put a schedule. I know having a schedule when you play is not the most fun thing. But I try to put myself on a schedule on days that I do play and days that I don't. And stream kind of helps where I say, okay, today I'm going to stream and I'm going to play for this extended period of time. And that happens to be more or less when I get to play the most. So schedule can help. I know when you schedule, it brings away the fun because gaming is supposed to be spontaneous as something you do. But if you're trying to improve, that's probably the question you're asking. Put a limitation. Don't go too long. Don't go too short. Maybe start in the test range for a little bit and then make sure you end and so you can have that alleviation knowing that you're going to be able to step away in about five to ten minutes if you're really vibing having a great time extend it by 15 but know when to get off and know when to stop and that's really important because a lot of people tend to make that mistake and they they over overdo it which is the the number two step away and find what brings happiness if you don't ever step away then you don't really know what that really feels like i feel like some people are so always want you to be involved. Like if I'm not online, then I'm just never gonna get better. Well, there's a lot of other things that can bring you happiness, but also put you in the right mood to improve. I mean, we're doing this live right now, kind of moving around. And even if we lose or win, it doesn't really matter. That's why I say you kind of have to bring Apex or the thing that you do with an Apex has to bring at least some sort of happiness. And I say Apex is therapeutic because I have found where if I just treat it as such, then I'm a lot more relaxed whenever I play. If it's not, don't be shy to step away and have that moment. Now, here's tip number three. Sleep properly. 
sleeping properly, I can't stress enough. And if you don't sleep properly that night, maybe that night just isn't going to work out. So prioritize your sleep, prioritize your rest. Uh, because, I mean, if you're too tired, that means your body's trying to tell you something. Now, the next one, eat healthy. Eating can also really impact how you're feeling. I try to do better with this. I'm not perfect with it either. Uh, and that can also impact, right? Your decision making and how, how, how you decide to play and how you decide to push things. Another one, working out. Maybe you don't play as much. Maybe you go for a walk. Maybe you go do other things. Those things can actually make a massive impact to how you're feeling as well. I think they, 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 they are, they're a lot bigger. I've been prioritizing a lot of exercise. I've been losing a lot of weight. Hopefully, I mean, from what I've seen, I mean, I'm losing a lot of weight, so hopefully, but hopefully that continues. And it does make a, a very big difference. So if you were tired, that's why I say all of these things are so important and make a very, very big difference. So let's recap what we've talked about. We all have these moments and it's okay. And it's not, doesn't mean that you hate the game or hate what you're doing. You're going to have this feeling with just about anything that you invest a whole lot of time into maybe you're too tired to play baseball maybe you're too tired to play football or play guitar spend time with friends maybe you're too tired to even just be around people those things are all okay they're they're not they're not gonna it's not the end of the world it's 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 okay i'm here to tell you that those things are okay to kind of take breaks from just because i think they're they're a healthy balance but that's pretty much the video today. I'm not even going to worry about finishing up this round. My focus today was to give you guys a bit of something that was relatable, how I feel as well, and things that I do. These are things that I actively do. I have skipped many nights of playing Apex because I know I was tired and prioritized other things. Now, the last tip I'll, I'll give is that maybe I'll aim train for about 15 minutes just to, to keep up my skill set. That's pretty much it. Now, I know I'm going to suffer for it, and maybe my skill set, skill ceiling will drop just a little bit, but at the cost of your happiness and your sanity, that's going to go a long way. And I will admit, here's another pretty ex exciting one. You will outlast your competition in the long run because you enjoyed the game more. I'm dead here, I think. Oh my god, I got lucky. Wow, I'm literally 1 HP. There'll be other people who invest their time and they may never come back to Apex because they are completely burned out and that's just pretty much it. So beat them. It's a long-term investment. Play the long-term game. You know, I'm dead. Oh, oh my God, I keep believing I didn't die. No, I died, no. Well, guys, that's pretty much all I had. And I, I know that... It, it, okay, let me, let me put this out there as well. I know the answer seems like it's a lot easier, but we'll end on this note as well. Is that it does take a whole lot of mental fortitude to step away. From those things to make a change to even consider these things and the reason why it takes so much thought process is because i mean these are things that are supposed to be fun too right and that can be hard you know what let's just keep playing till the end of the round we're, i think we're gonna win it's almost over i don't want to leave you guys and just say not spoil it maybe you can hide, kind of hear a little bit of post commentary like that's a grenade wait what where'd it go i think it got stuck right there I no, never really play Watson in these things. I was playing Watson in ranked uh, a few nights ago. I didn't play yesterday because I was tired and also wanted to spend time with my wife, Abby. And there's another example, right? Um, I have been aim training to offset the time recently. But I also, this is why I haven't released the alter guide is because I haven't, I can't produce content confidently unless I am confident that I can know what I'm talking about if I have the time, which is why I felt this was very fitting overall. Helps a whole lot. Why is nobody pushing the points? Do people just not play the objective? Like, do they not care? They don't care. What's happening? I don't know where the accent came from. That's what happens when you're tired. You just get goofy. And to be fair, I have been, I guess, sleeping a little better. But yeah, I don't know. I just Sometimes you sleep well, sometimes you don't. And what you do when you're tired kind of says everything. Heck. It says everything, right? There you go. They're the champions. All right. So the end of it was a little bit more of, you know, less information. But just if you're here and you kind of wanted a vibe, you're for the vibes, you know, and just kind of go for the W. So, yeah, that's kind of where we're here. I want to thank you guys so much for watching, for hanging out, for just being a part of the channel. I promise, you know, I've been thinking about the content consistently. Hey, it was good playing with you, too. I appreciate you. 
a little bit of kindness always goes a long way. My teammates were cracked. They did much better than me. The Caustic was holding the point. That's the reason we won. The Caustic was insane. Shout out to the Caustic. Shout out to the Catalyst. Uh, they, they carried me. A little kindness, uh, good, another good note, a little kindness goes a long way. Especially, you never know what somebody else is going through. You never know if they're tired or they're going through something. And just because maybe they have a higher rank, maybe they have a bad day. Maybe if they're a lower rank, maybe they're just as tired. Maybe they just got off of work or something. But guys, thank you again so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you're tired, go get some rest. See you guys on the next one.